and I seen <laughs> what are you doing get back up there hey guys it's Taylor welcome to my channel if you're new thanks for coming by if you're a subscriber thanks for sticking with me I am so excited about today I've been seeing all of the different bridal looks out there and I was wanting to you know start off my wedding series with a bridal look so I'm glad that I'm finally like sort of on trend like when did that happen <laughs> I'm usually like <laughs> yeah behind so um, I'm excited to do this let's jump into it it's a long one but um, I'm just sort of talking through some things with you guys sharing a little bit about my wedding story and my engagement story um, no I didn't get into my engagement that'll have to be a different video but um, I am going to bring a series to you guys regarding the wedding and all of the different things that are going on I am sort of like a wedding guru I've always loved weddings and the planning of them the decor the everything about them I'm that girl who had her wedding planned at eight years old I thought I was gonna be a wedding planner um, I sort of am on the event side so it makes sense but yeah I'm that girl so I do want to bring a full-on video to you guys about everything wedding let's do it so if you're excited to see how I created this look for one of my wedding ideas something like that I am doing multiple looks on the throughout the series and we might have a little poll taking place where you guys choose what look I should go with for my wedding day and also maybe win a little prize along the way. So stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that. Invite your friends, invite your family, subscribe to my channel. I have a little bit of everything on here. Not everything is going to be all frou-frou and bridal, so don't worry, but I'm excited. So um, keep watching, like, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so to get started, I wanted to just sort of start out with my definition of bridal makeup because I feel like it obviously will vary to what you want on your day. Um, and just so there's no expectation of what you're going to see here and all of that good stuff. So um, really when I think of bridal makeup, I don't um, necessarily want to shy away from makeup because I feel like that's just a part of me. I love makeup. I know a lot of girls are like, I want minimal makeup. I I don't want to be too much and I don't want to be too much either but I do want to feel my glamorous self when I do my makeup and I love it um, and so really what I the goal of my makeup that day I want it to just be like a glow um, I want to glow from within and on my face too uh, that doesn't mean a ton of highlighter or glitter or anything like that um, but really just like that I don't know how to explain it that glow and you know if if you're used to watching makeup tutorials I'm pretty sure you've seen someone go over their glow regimen <laughs> um, so that's really like my goal I do want it to be soft I want it to be timeless I don't want anything harsh or dramatic um, even though dramatic has a scale so it really just depends on what you view as dramatic versus me whatever I do today you might think is dramatic but for me it may not be um, but I'm also going to combine some of the things that I know work well for my face shape, my eye shape, my lip shape, um, some of my favorite looks and combine them into one just with the colors that uh, I feel would match my vibe for that day as well as my wedding for that day. So um, this is the first of the series and it's going to be the beauty, of course, because that's, you know always the first for Taylor but there will be other portions of this series that will be about um, what I'm doing for our save the dates what I'm doing for our invites what I'm doing for my bridal shower what I'm doing for my bachelorette party what I'm doing for the decor at the wedding because I'm very hands-on I'm, I'm very DIY I'm very specific um, <laughs> so I'll be sharing bits and pieces of that as I can um, and I want to also be sharing multiple looks on new products that I come across and I'm going to be testing out other things as well as skincare is huge for every day but especially on your wedding day I mean you don't want to have to wear so much makeup to cover up blemishes or anything like that which can also be triggered by stress and who won't be stressed on their wedding day I know 
I'm gonna do everything in my power so I won't be but it's sort of <laughs> in my nature I'm sort of very much so particular about how I want things so with that going on in, in the back of my head it's gonna be hard to be relaxed but I as of right now don't think I'm even going to be doing my makeup that day because I don't want to be having another just you know another thing to worry about another thing that I have to do another thing that would possibly stress me out so I found and I've researched my butt off to find um, the perfect makeup artists in Dallas and there's thousands there's thousands of great makeup artists here in Dallas but I wanted someone that was so I don't know um, down to earth and relatable and also just genuine and I feel like I actually found that in someone so um, and I say as of now because I may want she can only do so many faces I have a total of 10 people um, in my bridal party not bridesmaids but my whole bridal party and then I also want to take care of my you know future mother-in-law and um, Samson's aunts and things too so she can only do so many faces in you know that limited amount of time so I don't know if I'm gonna be hands-on yet I don't know if I will go ahead and do my own makeup and have her take care of everybody else's I don't know yet I just know I at least found someone that I trust and that I genuinely like <laughs> and that I think that is tip number one for bridal makeup tutorial day um, for you as a bride I am like kudos to anyone who did their makeup on their own day I personally just feel like knowing myself that's a ample opportunity to stress when I don't need to and I don't want that for my day I mean I'm spending thousands of dollars I want to take in every single moment so with that being said I don't know I'm torn I could totally be doing makeup while I'm talking but I just feel like this weekend's been a hard one guys and I just felt like I needed to come on here and talk a little bit okay so because I want that glow I feel like the key to glow is skincare hydration and um, other things will be going over. And then I'm just going to actually use this because it's a hydrating face primer from Ulta I'm trying out. It has um, coconut water in it. And I'm gonna use that as my moisturizer because I'm also gonna use another primer in addition to this. So, um, I also plan on starting a facial regimen this year. Um, my wedding is in October and it's February. So we have a good nine months and so I'm starting that to find out, you know, which facials work for me. I'm starting out with just the um, more gentle treatments. Um, so glow being the the main glow and hydration I'm putting on max strobe cream in the color well in the rose gold option um, and so I'm starting those out I'm gonna start with the glow focused facials and just get some hydration pump in some collagen pump in and um, then I plan on exploring things for hyperpigmentation. I do have a few scars here. And actually my skin looks pretty good today. And we'll see how it goes. I will, I do plan to vlog the experience. So be on the lookout for that. On top of the strobe cream is where I'm gonna put the other primer. And that's gonna be the Morphe primer that I've been using. Cause honestly it's been pretty nice. I enjoy it um, I can't wait to try other primers out there though so hopefully that's what I get in these first few subscription boxes because I need the perfect primer for the wedding day um, I can literally think about being hot and sweat um, so I'm also going to be testing all of the sweat proof um, methods and techniques out there 
because that is such a big concern of mine is being hot <laughs> especially when I mean as understandably so everybody wants to you know come and greet you guys and be around you guys and I've seen it all at the wedding so I just pray that I will not be too hot and I'm able to just remain dry <laughs> and if anything just a little dewy um but that's why the hydrating and the glow look works perfectly for that just can't let it go too far so we're gonna do my eyebrows first per usual and I'm gonna use the morphe pomade going to use um, ColourPop in the shade Dark 40. Okay, so brows take a little longer for me because honestly I don't get them done anymore. I really just take care of them myself and with makeup. So it may not take you as long, but I obviously wanted them pretty perfect. Light, but shaped and symmetrical. Those are the three things that I wanted. The same shade of concealer as I just did my brows with. And then I always sort of pat it, not pat it, set it with um, a little RCMA powder. And because I wanna make sure it's like in there and also I feel like it just blends better with my finger versus the brush application, I just pat it in with my finger afterward. Then that RCMA powder I was telling you about goes right here. So my wedding colors are Oxblood which is like, I know a lot of people may not know what that is, but just think burgundy, but a lot more richer. Um, or think of blood. <laughs> um, I know blood can be bright red, but think of like dried blood. It's gross explaining it that way. That's why somebody invented the word ox blood. Anyways, um, and then also mauve. And I know mauve is a debate, like Jay-Z was debating his suit was mauve, in my opinion, that it could be considered mauve, but it, it's not the mauve I'm going for. Um, I really love the reddish, reddish, brownish um, earth tones. And the mauve I'm speaking of is more so along those lines um if you look up like dresses unfortunately they only have them named as like dusty rose um and i would like them even a little deeper than dusty roses but we're gonna have to see what we find for the girls i really i really don't know what i'm gonna do i really wanted them in the oxblood color but obviously if the guys are not able to find a mauve suit and have to find the alternative color which is oxblood or burgundy whatever you want to call it um then the potential of them two clashing is a little too high for me and so the girls would have to be in the mauve which i was trying so hard to keep them away from pinks because again the only dress color that matches mauve even slightly is dusty rose a, a deeper richer pink um i'm gonna use the jacqueline hill palette <laughs> i know i know i'm working on getting new things but i never break what isn't broken or i never what is it if it ain't broke don't fix it i don't know i don't know the saying but all i know is it had the shade of mauves and nudes that I wanted. So what I'm gonna start off with 
is Butter um, in the Jaclyn Hill palette on along my lash line. Um, anyways, back to my chit chat. So if they are both in Oxblood, which is gonna be so hard to find both a suit and or a tux and a dress in the same tone. I mean, let's be real. Um, so I'm already preparing myself to either one, not have them walk down the aisle together, but individually. So there's no like photo moments of them clashing side by side. Or two, the girls have to resort to mauve. Um, because it's going to be very, very less likely for me to find a good mauve suit that isn't Jay-Z's color of mauve. <laughs> so, um, that's that. But my metallic color and my little scheme, I'm having a debate between going, well, initially I thought a deep rose gold, but come on, metallics don't come too often in different um, depth so I'm going to most likely go with a bronze or um, even a copper instead because you always have to have a metallic for a little pop um, in your decor scheme there's your DIY tip number one <laughs> anyways so I used a primer on my um, eye makeup today because obviously on your wedding day, you're most likely getting your makeup done in the morning and it has to last for tons of pictures all day. And speaking of pictures, people don't realize that photography can drain you out if your photographer isn't the best editor and to get that vibrancy and that pigmentation back, it can drain you out. So you want your makeup to be extra pigmented that day. It doesn't have to mean you use brighter colors or, or change anything about the style. It's just really about the pigmentation. Like I wanna make sure that the pigmentation, you can clearly see that this is a nude color. Um, and there's no question about that. So you wanna use a primer on days like today. Um, just to make sure you're getting the payoff that you're going for and um, keep it in place for longer periods of time all this talking has my lips getting dry now we're gonna go into the mauve tone which is buns out of the Jaclyn Hill palette now with this mauve color this will be the majority of the look for me and I'm also going to fan it out a little bit and we're gonna deepen this a little bit with another color here in a moment. So the goal of my look, um, again, is to be um, overall like glowy, but I didn't really specify how that will relate to my eye look, especially because I'm on the fence about it being all matte or with a little shimmer. So one of the other tutorials that I'm going to do for you guys will definitely incorporate a shimmer look. Um, it will still be like a soft smoke out for sure because that looks good on me personally. Um, so I will have a separate look that incorporates more of a um, shimmer look because that was a hard decision for me. Is if that's what I wanted or not. So the first three dips that I just did here in my crease were Mocha of Jaclyn Hill and it was on the brown soft side and I deepened it with the last stroke here with um, Chip which has more of the mauve like reddish tones but it is dark and I don't want this going too dark so that's probably all I'll be using of Chip, but I needed that pop to go with the mauve concept that I'm like attempting to achieve. Thank you. 
So to blend out and make it very smoky, um, I would keep your translucent brush that you set the primer with very close by because you're going to need that baby a lot. I'm going to use another primer. I'm going to try out the um, e.l.f. Brightening or tone adjusting primer for that redness and some of these scars I have going on Let me tell you let me actually this is great my skin feels so good with the regimen we just used Like it feels so smooth. I'm not even kidding. I'm actually shocked because I don't use these on a regular basis, so. And then what was I gonna do? Put on more strobe cream. Got a layer, got a layer, the glow. All right, my lashes are pretty much ready. So for the day, I would definitely like have a bomb pair of lashes. Um, and I'll go through and I'll get some and test them for you guys. Today I'm just using some I have on hand. So for my wedding day lash, these are okay for testing or whatever. It, it, it's okay for today. But for my wedding day lash, I would definitely do something a little different. So let's get into this face. So we just put on more primer and more shrub cream, but now we're gonna set that primer. We're gonna set that primer in shrub cream um, with a little translucent powder because again, I sweat like crazy and I don't wanna do that on my wedding day. So I'm going to get a damp sponge. I need to make it damp real quick because I didn't do that. My bad. And um, I already have my translucent powder right here and ready. And um, this is one of the things I was saying I would have to test for what's the best route. Like I said, I need sweat proof, but when I've done this before, yeah, it makes flawless makeup. But when it came to sweating, it didn't really help any. With oiliness, it helps, but with full on sweat, not so much. It's sort of like making it worse. Um, so we'll see. All right, so the translucent powder I'm using is the RCMA. And I'm putting a very light amount, a little bit of everywhere, but especially on the places I get oily and the places where I start to sweat. Um, I'm actually gonna use L'Oreal's True Match Foundation today because I've noticed it leaves me the most like, dewy without being super dewy, if that makes sense. Like, I don't really like dewy foundation just because I get oily in my T-zone and when things say dewy, it wounds up looking straight up like oily on those areas. And I forgot that I do have some color correcting that I'm gonna do around my mouth. Usually I would just make sure to have like my highlight um, concealer in this area, but wanna make sure it's extra taken care of today. So I'm gonna use that around my mouth and an another scar that is hard to cover up. We're gonna move into contour. I'm using the ColourPop um, concealer I've been really enjoying. And color Deep Dark 58. For special occasions, I really do like to bronze in up the whole face, which includes the, the temples here. I usually on a day-to-day -day, don't really care too much, but I do feel like it adds a, a special effect, so. I do want a contour and all of that. Um, some people may not want that on their day, 
and if you didn't I would just suggest um, maybe at least a powder contour because it really does help provide shape to the face in those two dimensional pictures we were talking about. Like, I haven't even highlighted yet, and I do feel like my skin is glowing. So, I mean, all those steps we took, all of the things we did, and really just with really inexp in inexpensive products, like, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Um, so, let's continue. Finish up this nose, and then we'll go into the highlighting portion of our highlight and contour. don't have to make that too perfect because after the highlight gotta go back on the nose anyway I'm using ColourPop dark 42 as my highlight I will go back with dark 40 right up under the eye um, as the extra definition This might sound so weird, but when I do the bronzing on like my full face, I love the way the forehead looks. Like, it makes me love foreheads, which is so random. I'm a weirdo and I swear somebody does want to marry me, okay? Cause he's a weirdo. We, we're, our souls are matching weirdos. I'm telling you guys, just find the weirdo out there that matches you. I always like to have a little bit on the other side of my eyebrow because I just feel like it can't go from like this light just into bronze or to the um, contour color. So I just like always put a little bit on the outside of that brow too. Now I wanna get the nose contour done before I go back with the lighter highlight color because as soon as I finish the highlight color, the final one is when I would love to bake. Now, this is another thing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bake on my wedding day. Personally, I feel like baking is like a key to all success. But I know a lot of people don't feel that way. And I'm open to exploring other things. Um, I do know when I did one of my trials with the uh, makeup artist I'm thinking is going to do my bridal makeup for my engagement party she did not bake my face and I will not lie I was super super terrified but it looked so good and it looked good all night long and I did sweat I did break a sweat a little bit while I was setting up um, and everything was good Every, it even rained a little bit and everything was good so that's why I'm like, maybe, oh maybe, I don't need to. But baking has never like led me wrong, so I don't feel like it's a right or wrong thing. It's never creased up on me, it, it's never caked up on me. Um, my favorite baking powder right now is Laura Mercier. Um, but I haven't bought it in a while, and I've been exploring other things, so um, on my complete face I use the RCMA but I don't bake with it um, for baking I've been playing with Morphe's baking powder or loose setting powder is what they call it and I like it I like it because it has some color whereas in Lauren Mercier I know she came out with the colors but I really didn't like the reviews I was seeing over them so I just stuck with her translucent but uh, with Morphe I use their Banana Rich, I believe is the name. Yeah. Oh, it is called Bacon Set. Didn't know. I'm over here lying. Sorry, Morky. Um, and I just, I feel like it creates a little color moment for me. 
like it perpetuates the highlight that I put on versus just bake it to perfection like Laura does it actually provides a little bit of color too so I enjoy that and I didn't ever know I would enjoy that so it was a new discovery for me sometimes you never know what you need until you try I'm a philosopher at heart guys I'm gonna blend this out a little bit because we're gonna immediately jump into our baking afterwards so you want to make sure you're completely blended out because what baking goes on normally it stays that way um and so you don't want to put it on anything that's not completely blended out or how you want it to be because it's meant to bake and set like literally <laughs> like that's your look now boo that's your look now <laughs> So for the rest of my face, I'm going to set it with a little RCMA on top of all of the things we did. While I'm baking, I love to go ahead and take care of my under eye. And for sometimes I don't do that, but for the day, of course, we're going to go the extra mile. So I get a tapered brush. And I think I'm gonna use the mauve color under, which is buns again. I also want my eyes to pop more. I have dark eyes. Um, even if you had lighter eyes and you wanted them to pop more, you could do something on your waterline. I think I'm going to use um, a nude pencil versus white. I might play with white, but I'm gonna use a nude pencil today on my waterline. It's actually not even an eyeliner pencil. I'll show you in a sec. It's a little soft, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the deeper color too. Okay. So I'm using the brow pencil that came with the kit. I don't use it for my brows. It's honestly like way too light, but I think it'll be perfect for the under eye because it's easily, um, it's easily spreadable. Let me take off this jaw baking powder. I don't ever let that set that long because it gets really stained, so I forgot. But it's okay, setting spray should take care of us. Um, also, got a little distracted guys. I'm gonna do my powder and my blush. I'm gonna use Sweet As Cocoa and Dame from MAC as blush. But the reason I do the blush first is because if you get a little out of control, your contour will calm it back down. Don't worry that we're looking like dry right now because we're gonna do quite a few sprays. Um, so back to our waterline. I need a close up mirror, sorry guys. I really like that decision. Not as crazy, <laughs> not crazy, because I love a white liner, but not as like super in your face. And also, I love this formula. Always um, the brow pencils are like easier to spread because you, you're supposed to draw it on then spread it out under your brow. Um, so I really like that for a waterline pencil because some eyeliners aren't as easy to put on your waterline and you end up hurting yourself, which is never good. It looks dry, but it's flawless like I don't see one poor <laughs> I don't know if that's your goal but I don't mind it I will say my nose um, didn't hold its contour too well but it's good 
because it's not good but it's okay because I can I usually always go over it with powder contour anyway couple spray downs and then we're good and lips Since I did do the all matte eye, I'm gonna add the very seldom brow highlight that I do. I know a lot of people do it every time. I think I may have throughout a certain phase of life, but not so much anymore. So of course, my favorite lip is the brown to nude lip with gloss on it. I mean, honestly, I loved it since I was a kid when it was really dramatic back in the 90s. I think that's what the route I'm going to go. Um, of course, I'm going to use a little liquid liner, um, probably during the ceremony and the big kiss so like l gloss doesn't get on him, but I don't know. We're going to play with it. Got a little out of control there. So, um, let's go ahead with our cheek highlight. I'm using my Tarte palette in the color Fire is perfect for me. Oh, my brush is a little wet, but a little wet with highlighter actually is okay. I feel like I still see the glow underneath my skin from all of the things we did, so I'm very happy with that, guys. I like to do a chin highlight because I feel like my chin isn't very pronounced. And then a little bit on the, I always say a little bit and it turns into a lot of it on the forehead. It's like my highlight brush is on level five everywhere else and then somehow when I get to my big forehead it turns up to a 20. <clears throat> And we're going to do the clear brow gel because after all the powders and things, our brows were the first thing we did. I like to just refresh them and make sure that they're good for the entire day with clear brow gel. She glowing. And I want a little nose highlight. We're going to spray again, put on mascara, and then we are done. I'm also going to... Just press into my skin everything because we are adding a lot of layers and I still want it to be all skin like. I want the portable fan. I'm gonna need it with all of these makeup events and my sweating issue. <laughs> While that dries, let's go ahead and apply. Our mascara y'all this look how do you like it I like it my brows are like way lighter than usual I can tell now like now that everything's done how really light they are um, but I really like it. So I'm so excited. I'm excited about this look. I'm excited about getting married and I'm excited to share this with you guys. So if you have anything else specifically you want to see, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I appreciate you for coming by. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I know this was a long one, but hopefully it was an informative one or an exciting one or something. And thanks so much. So I'll see you guys next time.